All right, it's time to talk about a werewolf movie. Let's talk about Dog Soldiers, which came out in 2002. This was directed by Neil Marshall, who did The Descent, and I think he did the last Hellboy movie also. And this movie is about a group of soldiers that go into the woods for training, and then they bump into a pack of wolves, werewolves, and they have to take shelter at this farmhouse and then survive the night. And so what I like about this movie is the look of the werewolves. I think they're they're very tall and scary looking. They're very vicious and strong. They tear people apart in this. And I like that they're on, you know, two legs instead of four, like an American werewolf in London. I like I like the ones that walk like humans. They're like half human, half wolf. So these are my kind of werewolves. And also, I thought it was interesting that they have black and white vision. We get to see like their POV and they're colorblind like dogs. And Soap McTavish, uh, Soap from Call of Duty. If you've played those games, you'll recognize this guy's voice who plays the main character in this movie, Cooper, the actor Kevin McKidd. It was very distracting just hearing him. I kept thinking of Call of Duty every time he opened up his mouth. But he's a good actor. Uh, the acting in this movie is good. There's funny dialogue. Uh, there was one line that really la made me crack up towards the end. Uh, and so there's some good dialogue, but it's hard to understand half of what they say without subtitles because of their thick Scottish accents. And I liked the foggy woodland setting, the atmosphere kind of reminded me of the howling. But most of the movie does take place in a farmhouse, and it is kind of a claustrophobic feel. They're just stuck in this house throughout basically the second half of the movie and it gets very action-packed this is more of like an action werewolf movie so that might turn some people off who aren't into action movies this plays out more like an a predator werewolf movie and which i'm fine with that because i'm an action movie guy i love action and so that stuff was fun there's some good gore and blood though that's thrown in so it's not tame or anything you get some good gory bits here and there not a lot that I would have liked with such, such a big cast of characters. I would have liked to see more of these people get chewed up on screen. There's not a lot of that happening in this movie, unfortunately, but you do get some good gory bits in here. As for my dislikes, I don't like the transfer. This movie is grainy as shit. I felt like I was watching a Blu-ray of a like 80s film. <laughs> this movie's transfer is not good. I know there's like a Shout Factory transfer now. This is like some other companies transfer that I got here and it just does not look good and I'm not a fan of the editing style Neil Marshall I think he did the editing for this uh there's scenes in particular like when they're in the woods uh just talking and it just cuts 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 like once per second or sometimes two times per second and they're just talking so it was too choppy the editing was very distracting and because this movie is in Scotland and we got a bunch of Scotland actors it was really hard to understand almost half of what they were saying. I needed subtitles. I had to basically read the movie. And they were using all kinds of expressions and jargon that I didn't understand that were really interesting. Like, what the hell does that mean? Um, so, yeah, it was just uh, hard to understand. It, it, was, it came off as incoherent at times. I had to read basically the whole movie. And this movie is missing what you usually get in a werewolf movie, and that's a transformation scene. There's no transformation at all except people's eyes turning like they put contact lens in their eyes to make them look yellow and that's all we really get so it was just too low budget this movie i think it had a couple million dollars i think they could have afforded a good transformation sequence but we didn't get that and i wish there was more uh, on-screen kills there's a few cutaways where somebody's about to get attacked and they just cut to a wall and blood hits it, it like that's done in so many movies, like slashers. It's just such a cheap gimmick. Just show the kill. Like in the opening, this opening I wasn't a fan of. It's the same thing. This woman gets dragged off camera and blood sprays on the tent. And then that's it. So the opening, which is very quick, just setting up like this weapon that's going to be used later on. It was just so not scary, not interesting. Just felt like I was watching like a wrong turn slasher movie. And just didn't work for me. This opening should have been more violent or more exciting. There was also this weird twist in the movie 
involving one of the characters that just didn't make much sense to me and seems to be breaking the rules of how werewolves work. So final thoughts, I thought this was a somewhat fun uh, one location soldier movie mixed with the werewolf genre that's mostly serious. Uh, that's focused more on the action sequences more than genuine horror and suspense. It's definitely good for one watch, but it's just not something that I find to be highly entertaining. I like it, but it's a werewolf movie and those just aren't usually my cup of tea, but this is definitely one of the better werewolf movies, but I don't think it's anywhere near the best. So when it comes to Dog Soldiers, I'll give this one three and a half stars. Alright, quick spoiler discussion, so... I thought it was kind of funny in the opening when the chick is getting her pants unzipped that the zipper on the tent starts to go up at the same time and then she gets pulled off camera and then they insert a stock scream sound effect that you can find on YouTube of a woman screaming that's used in a lot of movies. <laughs> Why not use her scream? Was she not a good screamer? Like in Blowout with John Travolta? We need someone with a good scream. Get in the recording booth. Like, this chick couldn't scream? Why did they uh, use that sound effect? It just took me right out of the moment. I was like, oh my gosh. I, I think that sound effect is the same one from my horror franchise Wednesday opening. Jeez. Um, so, but yeah, and there was no music either. When she was getting killed, I thought that was interesting too. Like, there was no dramatic music playing over it when she was getting killed. Um, so then it says two hours earlier, and we see Kevin McKidd. He's doing some training, and then... The last part of his uh, training is to kill a dog. Like, you have to kill this dog to become a soldier. Fuck that. And then he f fails him for not doing it. Um, so, yeah. And then four weeks later, he's back out there with these other soldier buddies. And they're talking around the campfire. And all of a sudden, a dead cow falls from above and just splats in front of him. The guy takes his gun that has nothing but blanks in it, and he knows that, and starts firing blanks at the dead cow. Um, so, and then the Sarge, the dick who wanted him to shoot a dog earlier, he has like a cutaway kill, but then you find out that he just got wounded, and all his mates got killed except for him. Um, and then... So yeah, they find the Spec Ops team out there all in pieces. The dickhead Sarge is still alive. And then this moron runs into a tree branch. It reminded me of uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, how they just accidentally kill themselves. You ran right into like a tree branch that was very sharp at the end. Uh, and it just went all the way through him. So that was kind of gory. And then the leader of this group gets gutted and his guts are spilling out and they have to like push them back in and he's like they won't fit and then uh soap i'll just keep calling him soap he's like of course they'll fit you know they were in there before just stuffs them back in and they just start running back and, and then this woman picks them up and i guess she lives nearby and spoiler she turns out to be a werewolf which is the twist and it doesn't make sense like how come she's not a werewolf the whole time there's a full moon out. Everybody else in her family that lives at this farmhouse, they're werewolves. They turn into werewolves, but she didn't. So I don't understand that and why she picked them up. Why is she pretending to be, like, on their side? And, you know, she says something like, you know, I chose you for something. I, I don't know why she chose them and why she's pretending to be on their side or whatever. And how she's not turning into a werewolf. Like, she can control it somehow. Then the leader who got his guts uh, torn out, they're trying, they're trying to patch him up, and he's in so much pain that he, he asks Soap to knock him out. He punches him in the face, but it doesn't knock him out. He's like, you know, you call that a punch, you pussy? Then he gets punched again, knocks him out. So that that was pretty funny. And then after this big like fight with the soldier, uh, the werewolves, uh, this cocky guy, he's like, you know, you call those guys werewolves or pussies and then he gets dragged out the window and then later on we see he, him get his head just bit off and thrown at the jeep that was a pretty cool moment and why not gag the guy ryan uh you know they tie him up but he just keeps taunting them and saying shit to piss them off like you guys have stuff to shut him up so just put something in his mouth or just kill the bastard I mean, this guy was shooting dogs in the open. 
like there were just nothing like oh, it's just a dog and then ironically i guess you know he becomes a dog a werewolf and he gets murdered at the end but why not just gag him and shut him up you know um so then yeah we get another off-camera kill but then we see the aftermath and all the blood goes pouring out of the car like gallons of blood start rushing out the car door uh, then we get this revelation that they were sent out there as bait for the spec ops team uh, they were sent there to be food for the werewolves and then the spec ops team would take out the werewolves or sedate some of them and they thought there was just going to be one werewolf but then it was the spec ops team that got mutilated instead and now it's the soldiers in training having to you know, help this asshole who turns into a werewolf. Um, you know, we don't get a transformation sequence. He just pops above the table, fully transformed. Gets a sword right through his heart, but that doesn't kill him. And so then this one guy says, I hope I give you the shit right before he gets eaten alive by the two werewolves. That's a hilarious line. It's kind of like in Dawn of the Dead or Day of the Dead, whichever one, where the guy's like, you know, choke on it. It's like right up there with that. Like that's a great line. So then the Sarge has like a Dr. Loomis moment in Halloween 2. Hey, look what I'm wearing. Uh, not on purpose. Um, and, you know, he turns on the gas, hits the thing, and then blows them all up. But then we find out that there's another werewolf in the basement with soap, the one with the sword in his chest, and takes that silver dagger from the opening, the couple in the tent, uh, takes that dagger and stabs him and kills him. And he's also given a, a roll of photos that were taken uh, to print out to have evidence that there was werewolves. And that's like playing over the end credits, uh, all the pictures that were taken during the movie of the uh, werewolves. So he has evidence to back up his story, at least, so they won't think he's crazy. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the movie. So what are your thoughts on Dog Soldiers? Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Where does it sit in your werewolf movie ranking? What's your favorite werewolf movie? I'm sure it's American Werewolf in London. It's not my favorite, but let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here, you can hit this like button and become a subscriber today just by clicking on my cartoon face in about five seconds. And until next time, see ya.